The majority of the Maya interface is taken up by panels. Here we see the default single panel layout with the perspective view in that panel. But there are other panel layouts. Over here I can click on four view and now I've got a classic four viewport layout. I've got a perspective view over here and orthographic views top, front, and side. Each viewport shows my virtual world from a different point of view. And I have lots of options within the panel. And the most common ones are actually found on this row of icons called the panel toolbar. So for example, I can set this viewport to smooth shaded, or I can set it back to wireframe. Down the left hand side of the My Interface, you will see the toolbox. And here we see the most common tools such as select and click an object to select it in any viewport. I can drag a rectangle to make a selection of multiple objects. And now we can see that the view cube here is gotten in our way. There we go. Here's a feature that we really don't need. I just tried to draw a box to select stuff and I actually ended up unwittingly clicking on this view cube feature here. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to turn it off. So let's do that. Let's look at going into the Maya preferences and setting it up in a way that we like. In the window menu, you'll find settings preferences and under that preferences. This opens the Maya Preferences dialog, and when you save preferences or you exit Maya normally, all of this information is stored, and much, much more, in fact. What I'm looking for in here is the View Cube, and you'll see it just here. I'm just going to choose to turn that off and click Save to save my preferences. And now I won't have that problem with my selection rectangle anymore. Let's look at object transforms in Maya. You'll see the word transforms a lot in computer graphics. It means position, rotation, and scale. In Maya, those are controlled through three buttons on the toolbar over here, move, rotate, and scale tools. So if I click the move tool and click an object in my view, I can move that object in three different directions, three directions in three-dimensional space. I've got the x-axis, the y-axis, which in Maya is the height or elevation, and I've also got the z-axis. So that's my move tool. You'll notice on the right-hand side of the screen, I have something called the channel box, and this is listing numerical values for my transforms. So here you'll see it says translate. Translate is a fancy computer graphics term, which means position. So the position of the object is shown here in X, Y, and Z values. As I move it in the Z axis, you'll see the Z value change. I can select in my channel box and simply type in a value. So for example, if I want to send the sphere back to the center of the world, I can highlight those three values just by dragging my mouse over them, type in a zero, and press enter on my keyboard. And I can send this sphere back to the origin. On my toolbar I've also got the rotate tool. I can select an object and turn it in three different directions. And once again I can adjust those values in the channel box as well. I can highlight these numbers over here just by dragging my mouse across them, type in a zero, and press enter to restore the rotations back to neutral. Finally, on my toolbar is the Scale tool. And the Scale tool will allow you to stretch things in different directions, but in fact that's actually not usually a good way to do this. We'll look at different ways to change the shape of your object. At this point I want to advise that you don't use the Scale tool. So I'm going to select the Scale values over here and type in a 1 to restore that object back to neutral scale. Since we're talking about transforms, this is a good opportunity for me to let you in on the hotkeys. Because although it's great that Maya includes these icons on the toolbox for your transforms, really the hotkeys are going to be much faster and more efficient for day-to-day -day working. 
So a lot of 3D programs have settled down on the Q, W, E, and R keys. Q in Maya is the select tool. W is the move tool. So if I press the W on my keyboard, I'll get my move tool. E is rotate. And I can hit Z to undo. The R hotkey is my scale tool. And once again, Z to undo. So again, it's Q, W, E, and R just above the home row on the left side of the keyboard. Now that you know how to create objects and manipulate them in the 3D space, let's now look at how to move within the 3D space, how to change your viewpoint. Before I even do that, I would like to close down some of these toolbars because for teaching purposes, it's better to have a streamlined interface. The first thing I'll do is, in fact, I'm going to close the shelf. As I mentioned earlier, the shelf is actually redundant. You don't really need it because everything you need in Maya can be found from the main menus. I'm going to close this shelf. Additionally, I'm not going to be using all the features of this panel toolbar either. So I'm going to turn that off too. Now I could go into the preferences and do that, but I'm going to take this opportunity to share with you the shortcut key to turn off the panel toolbar. It's Control Shift M on the keyboard. And that'll turn the panel toolbar off and on as needed. There we go. Now we've got a much more straightforward interface so we can better comprehend what we're doing here. We'd like to move within the 3D space. In Maya, there are some camera tools found within each panel. You'll see under View Camera Tools, several tools that go by names like Tumble, Track, Dolly, Zoom. These control how we move through the space. For example, I can choose the Tumble tool, and then as I click and drag my mouse in my perspective view, you'll see I'm orbiting around my 3D scene. So there are several of these camera tools in the view menu, but in fact, you'll probably never go into this menu and you'll probably always use the keyboard shortcuts or hotkeys. And in Maya, viewport navigation is all about the Alt key. If I hold down the Alt key and click the left mouse button, that's the tumble tool in Maya. Alt and left mouse. Now if you're on the Mac, you'll use the Option key instead of Alt, but in Windows and Linux, it's the Alt key. If I want to move my viewpoint left or right or up and down, I'll hold down Alt or Option and the middle mouse button. So most mice these days have three buttons, and you certainly need a three-button mouse to operate Maya. A lot of mice nowadays have a wheel. And when you rotate that wheel, it'll dolly your point of view forward or back in a viewport. But if you hold down Alt and press the wheel down, it should operate as the third mouse button or the middle mouse button. And if that's not working for you, you do need to check the driver settings for your mouse. Okay, then Alt and right mouse button, or on the Mac, Option and right mouse button, also operates as a dolly, which moves me forward or back in my 3D view. And that'll work in any view. So I can dolly forward and back by turning the mouse wheel, and that'll dolly me forward and back in increments. If I need finer control, I can hold down Alt or Option and the right mouse button to dolly forward and back. So with the Alt key and the three mouse buttons, we can move through the space. Alt and left to tumble, Alt and middle to track or truck left and right, and also to pedestal up and down, and Alt and right mouse button to dolly forward and back in the view.